guys. Hello. I told my sister that I'm okay with incest, and she took it pretty hard. Just <laughs> <laughs> shake yourself so people don't think I'm rude. <laughs> I left some change in the pockets of my jeans before washing them, and now I'm under investigation for money laundering. <laughs> I recently attended a two-day Zen minimalist course on how to become less dependent on material possessions, and I really got nothing out of it. <laughs> I was going to sharpen my pencil down to an atomic level, but I couldn't see the point. <laughs> yeah! They really need to start enforcing these no loitering rules around shopping centres because it seems like everyone's just been hanging out for it. <laughs> <laughs> if you ever suspect that your lighthouse isn't working, always try looking on the bright side. <laughs> so far in my life I've been lucky to have never made a gay double entendre. Touch wood. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I wrote a sitcom about bungling aeroplane hijackers. Didn't make it past the pilot. <laughs> I took a heroin suppository because I wanted to get my ass into gear. <laughs> I've been selling steroids to deer breeders because there are big bucks to be made. <laughs> a radiographer friend of mine has just started dating one of his patients. I really don't know what he sees in her. <laughs> I ordered a tequila at the bar before, and the girl said to me, That'll be 30 cents, you red-headed freak. And I said, Oh, that's a cheap shot. Yeah! <laughs> when they finally abolished hanging as a form of corporal punishment in Australia, it was a good thing, because the suspense was killing everyone. <laughs> I smoked a joint and burned the Quran just to see what would get me stoned quicker. <laughs> I was going to make some jokes about rice cakes and tofu, but they were too tasteless. <laughs> I considered murdering my housemates, but I'm not sure I could live with myself. <laughs> Keep laughing. <laughs> um, in the past, people have described me as manipulative, but I managed to convince them otherwise. <laughs> I pulled the shell off a snail to make it go faster, but it ended up being more sluggish. <laughs> I was at the doctor's surgery and there was this midget trying to cut in line in front of me and I said, mate, just be a little patient. <laughs> <laughs> I took some laxatives and laughing gas just for shits and giggles. <laughs> I made a complaint about sexual harassment at work because I've been missing out. <laughs> My mother always used to tell me that if you can't say anything nice, then there's probably a lot of other words you're going to have trouble with as well. <laughs> the Mafia are looking for a new body disposal expert. They've got several candidates, but no one's set in concrete just yet. <laughs> Victorians have a reputation for being quite apologetic about their infidelity. What a sorry state of affairs. <laughs> A man with a foot fetish was pleasuring himself in a shoe shop when he was stabbed in the eye with the heel of a stiletto. It looks like he got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> now the interesting thing about fat chicks is that while they're hard to lift, they're really easy to pick up. <laughs> if Stephen Hawking ever had a brain hemorrhage, it would be a strike of genius. <laughs> I recently attended this new type of wedding where no one actually gets married, and I'm happy to report that it went off without a hitch. Yeah. Yeah. in now, so probably a good time to recap. Yeah. You're all wondering what the fuck I was doing with that one. Yeah. I uh, just finished watching a documentary about a man who became stranded and had to eat his own limbs in order to survive. He was so full of himself. <laughs> This here is a table tennis ball. Just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> <laughs>